never want to say it, but we're going to say it right now. This is May 3rd all over again. Newcastle to Moore to North Norman, immediate danger of a large tornado moving through your neighborhood if you can get below ground. There is a tremendous amount of debris in the air. We pray and plead with you, please get down now. Okay, this picture on the left is what I found online. I can't remember exactly what I typed in. Something probably like uh, window green screen, something like that. Anyway, I found this very basic picture. Okay, and then you know through some editing, I turned it into this. Because the most important thing is I wanted this dark, so obviously I did that. The um, most important thing I got to have that green screen in the back. Okay, right here is the picture of the TV that I found online. You see, um, I don't know, I thought it was kind of a cool look. It worked perfect for what I was wanting to do. Right here, I'm assuming maybe this is a window or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Honestly, this, along with the old TV, was, uh, this right here was really important to me. Because keep in mind, for the window. So, anyway, I turned this, kind of into this with the TV turned this right here into what you see right here this is just like a little snapshot from the video but uh yeah i'm really really proud of this this is one of my favorite edits that i've done so you got the, the green screen here so i was able to you know put the video that i wanted here of the actual footage of the tornado in 1999 and then I took um, over here that green screen. I took it a, a completely and totally different tornado clip, and I placed it here. And if you'll notice, with each one of the the cuts back and forth in the intro, this tornado starts out farther away, farther, further, whatever. <laughs> I always get this confused. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's you see the tornado in the distance and then it'll cut really quick to something else and then it cuts back and when it cuts back you're always going to see this tornado move closer and closer and closer and that's what i did so basically just the clip that i used uh for here i would just kind of enlarge it make it bigger to where it would give the illusion that it was like closer and you know i just kind of obviously have to center it and stuff to make it still look good but uh, yeah, check that out. That's one of my favorite cool little edits that I've did that that I've done. That I don't know if anyone really pays that much attention to it, but when it starts, you see the tornado further away, and then by the end of it, when it actually hits hits you or whatever, it's obviously right up on you. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is one of my favorite edits that I've done. So anyway, here's this picture. Okay. All right. Um, I muted each one of the the video tracks here, so I'm gonna kind of show you one by one. Boom, now see, you see the tornado. That was, there it is. That's the video that I placed. And if, um, I'm gonna show you right here, I click this little button and when I hit transform, you're gonna see, you see this little thing here? When I when you first put the video in, it's going to cover the full screen, right? So, I you come over here and you hit the transform button, and then there's going to be these little dots all across. So what I did is obviously I'm not going to move it because it'll mess it up, but I made it smaller and moved it over here and organized it. And then you know when you're done, you just do that, and then boom. So I did that on this one and the next track. You're gonna see, here's the actual video of the tornado. These are two totally different tornadoes. This is very, 
Um, this looks very, very good for what I was going for. This is exactly what I needed, a visible tornado in the distance, because each time it shows this, you're going to see it's going to get closer and closer. See? Now, now, I mean, look, it's, it's pretty much right up on you now. So that was kind of the whole effect here, right? See how far it is in the distance? I was proud of this idea. And then boom. But um, it zoomed in a little bit right here because there's like a shaking effect because a bunch of sound effects and stuff where the tornado's hitting. But anyway, back to the point. Um, if I go to the track here and I hit transform, see, you'll see. This is exactly what it was. So on this clip right here, all I did was, uh, again, when you first put the clip in, it's going to take up the full screen there. These, that, this is going to be here, that's going to be there, that's going to be there, and so forth. And I just made it smaller and I, you know, I framed it because keep in mind this, uh, this is a picture, right? The TV and all that, I already went over everything. So um, I was able to move this around and organize it. The main goal behind the video is to inspire you um, no-name creators just like me uh, or maybe you are like a big creator or something and you've kind of lost your motivation, whatever it is, whatever it is. Uh, you, even though I doubt some creator with like millions of you know subscribers would watch someone like me. But if this video found you, it's for a reason and uh, it's, it's God saying, don't be afraid to try. You know, you know what I mean? So, uh, don't be afraid to try. Don't, don't set your, don't put yourself in a box. You just watched me prove to you that I cannot explain. I couldn't make a tutorial even if I wanted to, because I have no idea how to explain everything technically, but I still showed you that you can create something really awesome without the technical knowledge. If you're willing to work hard and, and most importantly, allow your use your imagination that's one of the most important gifts god has ever given us and it's not talked about enough when we're children we're encouraged to imagine use our imagination to the fullest and think about it that's when everything was the best and then you get a certain age and this entire world all your friends your family your teacher everybody bombards you with this demonic lie that that you need to stop imagining and you need to, uh, uh, you know, get serious. It's the real world. Prepare for your future, your career. It's always a garbage job or a career that that never fulfills you on the inside. And when we are young, we're encouraged to use it. And if you think about it, that's when everything was the best. That's when there were no limits on this world. All things were possible. And it's like all things are possible, right? And you don't think anything about that. But one of the greatest Bible verses that uh, that I think there is is, all things are possible through Christ, which strengthens me. So uh, anyway, I'm rambling really bad, kind of speaking a little bit of life into you and your dreams, trying to encourage you. So hopefully this video, you get to the point of the video, it, uh, it, it's it's to don't be afraid to take chances. Go and create. I don't know what, what you um, are interested in or whatever. Go and create it. You want to try this cool edit? You have no idea how to do it? Um, Go online, try to find it, uh, you know, search it on YouTube, stuff like that. That's exactly what I did with the green screen stuff. The good thing about YouTube is there are so many people, especially with any editing software, I would assume, but um, especially with like the big ones, I would assume like Do Adobe uh, or uh, DaVinci Resolve, the one that I use because it's free and stuff. And it's like, man, you, you saw what I created. It's re really cool, man. And somebody like me doing something like that with, with, with like, zero idea of, of how to explain it um that should inspire you because you can do really cool things too so anyway if you like the video please think about subscribing liking commenting whatever go check out some of my other videos especially any of my short films those are really really important to me it's almost christmas time merry christmas the whole reason for the season jesus happy birthday lord uh god bless you guys god bless your family and i just pray that Every single day you realize just, just what a gift it is, you know, and, and regardless what you're going through, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. A little bit of light makes the darkness flee every time. Never forget that. And you got that light on the inside of you. Jesus put it there. God bless you guys.
Merry Christmas.